Many, many moons ago, I saw a show on television. It was uh, like a 2020 episode or something. This guy had a camper truck. He had a pickup truck with a camper shell on it. And he went, he went a different route home than he normally went from some show or something. <clears throat> and he drove, accidentally drove, drove the truck off the road. And it snowed really bad that night. And the road was one that was not very often traveled. And the authorities closed the road without driving the road. They, they, they normally go through and they tell people, look, we don't drive the roads before we close them, so make sure you take care of yourself when it's getting close to that time of year. Know when the, know the weather before you go driving down the road you have it done. This guy didn't do it, apparently. Poured down snow, they closed, closed the road, and this guy got the truck stuck and couldn't get out, and he ended up starving to death in this truck. He could get out of the truck and he could walk around, but of course it's really, really cold. It was a four-wheel drive truck, and he couldn't get it out because when he first got stuck, it was very muddy. <clears throat> but by the time it, the ground froze enough to where uh, he, he could have gotten traction, he was so weak from hunger that he couldn't, he couldn't think straight, and he was not thinking, well, now the, now the ground's frozen now, and you got out of the truck, you have no food, no water, and they eat snow, this kind of thing. And when he was found... Uh, somebody was going over the mountain in off-road vehicles of some kind, snowmobiles, I think, and they hit his truck, and they called the authorities, and by the time the authorities got there, someone had stolen his wallet. <laughs> somebody else went out there and actually stole his wallet. <clears throat> the battery still had juice because his camper truck had a battery city feature. Uh, they called a tow truck, and the tow truck driver, not knowing that uh, someone had, had passed away, was actually able to get in the truck and drive it out of the hole that it was in because the ground had frozen and the mud had dried up. So he was able to drive it out and then get it on the tow truck and tow it away. Which depressed the wife because the wife had been going nuts. That he you know, this isn't the type of guy who would just disappear. He you know, he's not he's not in some other country, you know, on stolen money or something. This this guy's just not that kind of guy. He's out stuck somewhere. And nobody listened to her of course. Every time I think about this, this show, I have to imagine myself not sitting there and dying of hunger. I have to imagine myself trudging through waist-deep snow, trying, trying to get out, you know, dying on the way, finding me halfway back to the road if I didn't make it, or, you know, finding me because he had half a tank of diesel still in his truck. Finding me was, you know, an empty tank of diesel, having fought that thing left and right, <laughs> at least, you know. I, ha I can't stop myself from going through these other scenarios and saying, okay, what, you have to try stuff. You can't just not try stuff. <clears throat> but at least, you know, having watched this, I've learned quite a few things. I've learned don't give up. I've learned uh, don't go down roads that nobody knows you're going down unless, uh, uh, unless it's an emergency, you know, especially especially in situations where it could snow and where it could be bad weather. It could be bad weather just about anywhere. I mean, even deserts have flash floods. So, you know, make sure people know approximately where you are. I'll leave a note with a, the, the waitress in the uh, diner down up the street, you know? <laughs> so maybe they can find you. Who knows? But, yeah, that's just kind of funny that every time I think about this, every time this guy crosses my mind, I have got to go through in my head and, and, and change the scenario a little bit so that, okay... Shoulda, woulda, coulda, shoulda done this, woulda, woulda done that. You know, I just can't turn it off. And I can't stop thinking about it until I push through and imagine myself at least trying to get the hell out of there before I get to the point I can't function because of hunger. Uh, and it's like food and water. We, we leave a couple bottles of water in the back of the car. And I, we, I would love to leave MREs in the car, but they would get too hot. Uh, leave an MRE around so that you have at least one good meal before, you know. Get, get out stuck somewhere, but I don't know. Those, anybody else got uh, emergency plans <sighs> in their car, in their vehicle, in their backpack? Cause I got I got stuff in my backpack. I don't have any food and water in there, but it's too heavy. But but uh, got other things to try to get out. That's why I carry this and a, a flashlight and other crap on me, just to just to try to be prepared. I was in the Boy Scouts. I didn't get any uh, merit badges or anything, but for for what I got out of it, it, it taught me to be prepared. Uh, it taught me to, to try to be prepared. 
And that the, the motto stuck with me. Anyway, leave a comment and let me know what, what your plans, what uh, interesting plans you have for emergencies.